Red light, green light. Red light, green light. Stuck at the stoplight. Red light, green light. Red light, green light. Red light, green light. Two twins in the back of the black Cadillac like Yeah, 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 yeah. Get, back, get smacked to my mama hatchback like Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Oh. Coming up next, the matchup for the UFC Women's Bantamweight Division title. Well, this is a belt that has changed hands quite a bit, and this number one Bantamweight contender believes it will again here tonight as she makes the walk for this title fight. She believes this title shot should have come earlier. She's not caught up in all that now, hasn't been during fight week. She's focused on the champion, and you see her staring her down right now. Crowd going crazy. She believes she is the best Bantamweight in the world and believes in a matter of moments here, she will be the new champion. Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. She has really set the standard for excellence at 135 pounds. Tonight, though, facing a number one contender that comes in with a lot of momentum. So if she can defend the belt yet again here tonight, it would really go a long way in stamping her legacy as one of the greatest Bantamweight fighters and champions of all time. the tape for this women's bantamweight championship fight more than five years apart with some differences in height and a similar reach we set it inside the octagon to bruce buffer ladies and gentlemen this is the main event of the evening and when the action begins our referee in charge of the octagon eve loving and now this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 14 wins, 7 losses. She stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Kansas City, Missouri, USA, presenting the challenger, Megan Anderson. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 19 wins, no losses. She stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, the Warrior. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your phone. So here we go with round one of this UFC Women's Bantamweight Championship fight. This is the fight that fans really wanted to see. The consensus top two 135ers in the world. The champion doesn't necessarily see it that way. She believes she is a level up. She has defended the title in the past. That is a great source of confidence for her as she tries to remain the hunted here at 135 pounds. 
Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really a sight to Oh, me. nice headlock. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Oh, we're getting a finish here. This is tight. Side control now. We'll see if she can do it. Going for a submission. Now it's starting to slip under the neck. There it is. Now she's in trouble. Man, she is just non-stop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her there. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. Cranks the neck now. We'll see if she can get under the chin and finish off the rear naked choke. Now it's starting to slip under the neck. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. Wow. All right, side control for her now. And you know how heavy she stays with all of that upper body strength. We'll see what she can do from here. Well, she's got great upper body strength, and that's why she passes, because she doesn't necessarily feel she needs the legs to control her opponents on the ground. So she goes to side control and hopes that you give your back. That's right. why you see she has so many rear naked choke submissions. I would never give you my back. Don't give me your back. Oh, that's a nice job by her there to reverse the position on the She was in trouble. Now she is the one handing out the punishment. Great change of position very quickly. All right, so there's the horn. The round is over, and she is just not the tapping type. That submission looked pretty tight to me. It looked very tight, and she looked surprised that her opponent did not you tap, that, that her opponent did not that, go right? up. But okay. she looked back? surprised, but she has right to understand to okay. that she's in there with a very high-level grappler, and that happens in those types of situations. All right, second round underway. Double leg takedown, stuffed. Ooh, big shot to the body. And she lands the knee to the body now. Ooh, nice shot inside by the champion. Oh, man, that hurt to watch. Beautiful land by her with that hook. She wraps it around the... Oh, and she gets the takedown there and really made it look easy. She made it look easy because she timed it perfectly. Before her opponent could react, she is already in the finishing mode. What a punch. And they separate. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Big punch from the clinch. Oh! Oh! Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown, D? Outstanding output on both sides. Oh! She's starting to put together some significant... Oh! Oh, did she just ruin her there as she slammed her opponent to the ground? I bet that hurts your back just watching it. It hurts my back. <laughs> it hurts your back. But it doesn't feel any worse than it does to that young lady right. that just got slammed on her back. I mean, she is feeling that. Well, maybe some panic setting in for her opponent as she continues to land with the ground and pound. She cannot deal with the pressure of the top fighter. She's so good at finding her strikes. Oh, how about that reversal by her there, champ? That is a fantastic transition by this young lady. What a job. How good is her arm ball? We'll see if she can set it up here. Get up. Get up. 
Got to be careful, Armbar. Nicely done. Oh, Sage work from the bottom here as she tags her with the punch. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, that's a beautiful escape and reversal by her there. Unbelievable sweep. She did a fantastic job of manipulating the weight to change the position. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. Just beautiful when it comes to the transition. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautifully. Yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. Final seconds here of round number two. Oh! Oh, saved by the bell. Round over. And the finish came just in time. Thought maybe she might tap there, but you know how tough she is. So the submission attempt right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. Back to the stools they go. We'll see if she can recover in time for this next round. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, big punch land. Oh, look at that combination. I got two words for you, champ. Head trauma. Head trauma, which can be fought by head movement. <laughs> Young lady, move your head. Move your head. You want your parents to recognize you by the time this fight is done. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. That uppercut appeared to find its home. Goes in and secures the takedown. Back to the feet. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Trying for a submission here. Oh, her ground and pound is on point here. She's made this a focus going in to make these strikes count. Certainly doing that tonight. She's nicely done. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. All right, so the ground and pound strikes continue to land. She's not staying busy for the sake of it. She is doling out damage. She's landing a lot of punishing ground and pound. And this is going to really zap her opponent as they get back to their feet. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can She's really going be for her arm here. The Kimura is not the arm, it's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this training camp, and here's your evidence. Outstanding movement on the ground. She looks like a master of grappling with the great movement that she's showing on the ground. here great movement by her here on the ground and she just does it so fluidly and so easily it, it's really a sight to behold you can tell that she's been a lifetime developing the skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat all right let us now get you some pictures from that previous round and gotta hope the replay guy plucked that flying knee champ he absolutely did 
he wants to impress the fans as much as she did with such a difficult technique. She threw it, it landed. Now it's all we're gonna be talking about for the next couple weeks. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five is now underway, and now is the time to see where the endurance, the cardio, and the overall skills of these women figures to be tested. Yes, both of them will be tested on the skill level, but also the mental level, the emotional level. It takes a lot to get through round four and five, and both of these women are going to have to ace the test if they want to get their hand raised at the end of the night. All right, she's got the full mount here, DC. It's hard for me to remember a time in which you were fully mounted in the UFC. I have never been full mounted. I hope to never be full mounted. And this young lady now finds herself in this position. In this position. Looks like a potential submission attempt here. busy with all those takedowns. All those takedowns and some really nice takedowns. She did a great job of level changing, getting into her opponent, not allowing her opponent to defend before she can secure her takedown. So there she is as the celebration continues in the corner. The queen of the 135ers, the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion, your winner tonight by way of submission, what a way to get the job done and leave with the UFC goal. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 36 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by tap out. and she stayed in her lane to retain her title. I wonder if she would trade her new belt to you for one of the old ones. She won a lot of the old ones. The old ones were better. I, I, actually, I won. Uh, Why do you think I'm hanging say around? Don't say that. You got, you, you, you'll have, by the time this game comes out, Why you will have Why am I holding on a to new belt? That? Yeah, I want to. Yeah, just get one. Just one. Thank you.